gegeven idee. Nee, die zijn er gewoon toch? Nee, weet ik niet. Wat zijn duinen? Door zand. Door zand. It's quite odd most people don't know how the dunes grow, while we are all enjoying their presence and know how important they are to protect us from marine floodings. The Dutch tried to fixate and strengthen their dunes by planting marum grass, and by doing so the dunes were difficult to be blown away by the wind and sand could not be transported behind the dunes. This created a high and narrow fortune system. However, a narrow fortune system is not desired when a heavy storm is coming and there's a big chance a large part of the fortune will disappear. Therefore, a wider and maybe lower fortune is preferred. A possible solution could be to remove the marum grass and let the wind do her job in creating a wider fortune system by transporting the sand behind the dunes. But before we take such drastic decisions, we need to make sure that dune growth by the wind is larger than dune erosion by the sea. That's where the scientists come in. To know how much sand gets transported into the dunes, we need to know at which wind speed and wind direction that happens. The more wind, the more sand transport. Duh. But what you possibly don't know is that soil moisture plays an important role as well. When the soil is wet, the sand sticks to it like glue, but when the soil is dry, sand gets transported more easily. Therefore, we need to know when the beach will be dry and sand transport is likely to occur. Tidal fluctuations, groundwater levels and soil moisture are measured at the beach of Egmond aan Zee in the Netherlands. Tide is measured with a pressure sensor in the sea. The higher the pressure, the higher the water level. For groundwater fluctuations, the principle is exactly the same. And soil moisture is measured by a very fancy laser scanner. A higher reflectance of the laser beam means a lower soil moisture content, since water absorbs the laser beam. In the end, we want to make a computer model that can predict at which wind speed and what tide level sand transport can be possible. Hopefully this amount will be larger than erosion by the sea, and if so, we can remove the marron grass and let the wind create a wider fortune system for better protection against marine floodings.